Hello viewers, today we are talking about cooking with leftovers on behalf of the Felix Project and in support of Food Waste Action Week. The Felix Project, in case you don't know, rescues surplus food from supermarkets and producers and then they redistribute it to people in need, like food banks, homeless shelters and so on. Huge amount of surplus food in Britain, but the Felix Project is dealing with this. The other problem that we have is waste food in the home. I have some leftovers here, genuine leftovers from my house. Um, we're going to see if we can make what we're calling a fake away with them. This is a portion of whole grain, plain steamed rice. That was from a takeaway. I can't even remember what it was, but I overordered. So I have that. We have two chicken drumsticks from the last roast that we made at home. A slightly sad, but still perfectly okay, spring onion. Then we have a couple of wrinkly chilies, which have been in the door of my fridge for a while. They're still perfectly okay, but they're, they're looking a little bit shriveled. And then we have this carrot, which was also in the bottom of the fridge. Now that does look pretty disgusting, but as I said last time, somewhere in there, there is enough to make a perfectly good carrot. We will find it out in a minute. Then I have a piece of ginger, again, just something that was sitting around in the door of the fridge. That's a piece of ginger about the size of a knob of butter. Um, finally, I have an egg. Everybody will have an egg somewhere in the house. And the most important ingredient of all, these aren't really leftovers, these are staples, but from the vaguely Asian section of my cupboard of plenty, I have a bottle of oyster sauce and a bottle of magic ingredient. This is, is, is written in foreign in this one that I've got at the moment, but that's Maggie seasoning. And that makes everything taste just amazing, even spam. So those are the ingredients. And with these, I'm going to make something a little bit like, or let's say inspired by uh, Chinese takeaway, stir fried, fried egg, fried rice with bits of chicken in. I suppose that's, is that chicken foo young? So I don't want to be guilty of cultural misappropriation or anything like that. I'm not going to call this Chinese food. It is just in a slightly Chinesey style -y rather than a British fry up or an Indian curry. First thing I need to do is prepare these ingredients. So we will do that in speeded up time, possibly with a bit of comedic free or very cheap music over it. And then we'll come back to the action in real time for the all important stir frying in my wok. Okay, here we go. Get the wok nice and hot first. I'm gonna do a bit of ginger first, then I'm gonna add the rice, then I'm gonna do the egg stir in with the rice, move the rice to one side, do a bit of chili, and then cook the chicken. Obviously, if you were using fresh chicken, you would do the chicken first, but if you're using fresh chicken, it's not leftovers, is it? A real Chinese man showed me this trick, well, a real Chinese man, a Chinese man showed me this trick for telling when the wok is hot. So the water, when it stays on the wok like that, it's too cold. If it goes and it's gone instantly, it's too hot. When it's right, it will disappear after about a second, which is about what it's doing there. Okay, let's put some oil in. A fair bit because the rice will absorb it. So let's let that heat up for a few seconds. And then we'll chuck in the ginger. Let that stir fry for maybe, I don't know, half a minute is probably enough. That is ginger cooking. Exactly what you do here is not that critical because it will all be rescued by oyster sauce and Maggie seasoning. I've put a little bit too much oil in there, but let's not worry about it. Let's add my leftover rice. Very important that we cook this thoroughly because according to the Royal College of Nursing, the main source of food poisoning in Britain is reheated rice. People try and warm it up in the microwave and that sort of thing. If you're going to reheat it, you should only do it once and you should do it extremely thoroughly i.e. in a wok, because a wok gets very, very hot. Right, just move the rice to one side for a moment. Now let's cook that egg in the middle. What you're looking for is to lightly scramble that, turn the heat back up because that will have cooled the wok a little bit. 
You want to sort of scramble it, just, just scramble, then break it up into chunks and mix it in with the rice. Then it becomes a sort of egg fried rice. Here we go. Can you see this happening? And it's very important to make sure that the rice is properly cooked. The chicken is already cooked. The other bits are just vegetables and won't do you any harm. The rice will if you don't do this properly. Right, move the rice to the side. Thus, I'm going to put in my carrots because they always take a bit longer to cook than you think. And I'm going to add the chili because that will give it a little bit of a kick. Add a tiny bit more normal oil. Ow, I just burnt my finger on the side. I don't know, this might be absolutely terrible. Who knows? Right, just turn it down for a moment. Also push that to one side. I'm going to add my oyster sauce now. I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but I've done it before and it works. Healthy dollop of oyster sauce. Just let that warm up a little bit. A bit more heat. Scraps of chicken. Big blast of heat. So I'm cooking the, well, I say cooking, I'm reheating really and oystering, oyster sourcing the chicken in the bottom hot bit of the wok, trying to keep the rice out of the way so I don't overdo it. Popping and crackling a bit, which is a good sign. It smells quite convincing. Right, let's stir it all together. Right, the spring onions don't really need to cook as such, they just need to inform the flavour. I've just touched the edge of the wok again. Yes, that's working. And now finally, no matter how revolting that is, we will rescue the whole lot with a good squirt of magic Maggie seasoning. We'll make a bit of a sizzle. There you go. Right, who's going to eat it? I love the way you're all rushing forward saying, oh yes, please, let me try your fried rice. I'll give it a go. I don't Thank know. you, Tom. I think it might be okay, actually. Didn't warm up the bowl, sorry, but there isn't really anywhere to do that out here. A sprinkle of soy sauce might help, but we don't have any of that. But it has got Maggie seasoning in it, which has similar effect, but a little more sophisticated, with a little more depth. Uh, it Look. won't... <laughs> what? Yes. What? Looks-wise, it's not... I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks all right. The egg's very orange. Though, this is it? a very orange egg, but it is an egg. Okay, here goes. I'm going to try and eat a bit of everything. So I've got the carrot now. It's that carrot, that it's the worst carrot I've ever eaten. That is an appalling carrot, but it won't kill you. Is it nice? It's really good. Is it? Yeah, it's really, really good. <laughs> I like the dramatic tension that you built up that time. It was extremely excellent. Well, I was slightly concerned. I thought you were thinking, how am I going to say this? Yeah, hmm. um, so the veg have had seen better days. Yeah, yeah. They're, <laughs> well, look, they're leftovers, hmm. but the important thing is they haven't gone in the bin. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, the chilies work. The carrot is pretty tragic, <laughs> even when it's been cooked, but it is a carrot. Pieces of chicken are nice. Lucy, try a bit, please. I know you're not mad on rice, but you don't, you're not going to vomit at the thought of it, are you? No. Just try a bit. Okay. But, but get a proper forkful with some chicken on it. And some carrot. Stop being, no, come on, stop being a wimp. Carrot, chicken, rice. Yep. I'll let you have that. In your face. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's just the, the carrots a bit. <laughs> the carrot's disgusting, but. I'll let you finish it. Thank you. Mike? It cannot harm you. It's all right. 
For stuff that a lot of people would put in the bin, I think it's all right, isn't it? You can tell everything's been around a while, but yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> it does have a slightly antique quality to it. I think that's the first thing I've ever eaten on food tribe, so there you go. The bin, peelings, bones, and an eggshell. That's the way it should be. And the bones could be made into glue. So if you want to have a go at that for Food Waste Action Week, do something, post it, hashtag fake away. Let's have a look. Hashtag Sorry, hashtag Felix fake away. Like, comment, subscribe, support. Mm -hmm.